All right. Um, moving on to my how I got into role playing anecdote. I went to my local gaming store to play a card game called Anachronism, and well, actually, this is secondary. Um, how I got into role playing, first of all, my uh, uncle, who is, and I don't think he will mind that I said this, uh, the stereotypical hippie with long hair and whatever. I mean, now he's cut his hair, but he was, um, and he was into role playing and into anime, is into anime and and sci-fi and all kinds of things. Um, he was into it, and then I can't remember what made me start asking this, but I asked Mom about it or something, and she said, oh, ask Uncle Donald, and I asked Uncle Donald, and he uh, gave me the second edition books, which I never actually played with, I just read the second edition player's handbook, and then he bought me the uh, whole set of core books for 3.5 and uh, ran a little uh, module for my, me and some of my friends, and then he also, uh, he ran it in a very sandboxy way, which is just how, one, how his personality is, the way he would have run it anyway, and two, it is, uh, he wanted to make it really open because he wanted to show off what roleplaying can do, even if uh, it was much more open and much more clue- we were much more clueless about what we had to do and got a lot less experience than uh, we would in a normal game. Actually, when I got to my first, quote, normal RPG session, I was like, wow, we leveled up at the end of session two, and and we knew what to do. It was like a very straightforward, you know, go here, kill these dudes, leave kind of mission, as opposed to the cure the dream fever thing, which I'm not trying to say that he ran a bad game. I loved it. It's just it was much different from the traditional sort of game, and now I really prefer the other kind of more sandboxy game because that's just how I, I roll, basically. Um, so, um, that's the Uncle Donald anecdote. And now, begin back to the anachronism thing. Um, after the game with Uncle Donald kind of dissolved just because he didn't have the time to run it anymore, even though me and my group were still into playing, um, but we really, because he ran a very untraditional game and we didn't uh, we just weren't ready at that point. We weren't very experienced to run enough to run our own games yet because we hadn't learned. He was learning 3.5 along with us because he had never played 3.5 before. And so he was learning it with us and he couldn't really teach us very well because he was having to learn it at the same time. That was it. So uh, we weren't ready to run our own games, but he couldn't run them for us anymore. So we kind of disbanded. And then Nathan who was in our group, and I were at our local gaming store to play a card game called Anachronism, and we were there, we were looking at some of the D&D uh, &D books while we were waiting for the, the tournament to start. And uh, we picked up this, I think it was the Right Hand of Doom, or maybe it was uh, something about the Drow, I think. We looked through several of them, and we picked up one of them, and, and we're like, oh, what's this? It looks cool. And we're reading the back cover and all that, and then this voice from behind just said, it's a complete adventure slash campaign. And we turn around and there's this short, portly guy with a big Gimli-like beard <laughs> standing there. Uh, and he started talking to us about RPGs and stuff. And he knew a heck of a lot more than we did because we were little 12-year-olds uh, who hadn't been role-playing for more than a year or probably less than that by then. Um, and then he got into, you know, I run games for kids about your age. I'd be pleased to run a game for you, and we got a group together, and we played in that game for two years. <laughs> and after that, it disbanded, um, because he didn't have time to run it anymore. So now I'm kind of freelancer RPG guy. As I was playing through that game for a couple of years, after a while I started to get interested in just RPGs at large, and I started to look up stuff online, and I found RPG.net, and then I found Captain Machine and, and other RPG YouTubers, and and really, because we played D&D &D exclusively and we weren't really around any other RPGers, um, not because we were very insular, just because we weren't exposed, um, I, for a long time, didn't know that other games existed, and then even after I saw people playing other games, like Shadowrun, I didn't know that they ran on other rules besides the D20 system. So when I found things like Game Geeks and Pro Magnus and RPG.net, it's like, wow, this is so cool! And then I realized I much preferred other kinds of games to D&D, &D, so... That's just my ramble about that. I'll stop now before it gets too long, and I may respond or continue if I have something else to say, but I don't think I will.